Let's give that a shot and see whether that's any better. Um, this time is not yelling me at uh, about dropped frames. So that's good. Um, yeah, I suspect the problem was that my video card is too wimpy on this machine. Um, now I am burning, as you can see, I am burning a fair bit of CPU uh, to do the encoding, but that's okay. Um, this thing has 16 uh, A72 ARM cores, so that should be fine. Uh, cool. Anyways, so uh, for folks who are joining us, um, we are going to be doing advent of code in a couple of minutes. Um, and also I am currently in the middle of babysitting a uh, Kafka rebalance, which uh, seems like the rebalance has not yet kicked in and that's fine. It will eventually uh, kick in and there might be something interesting to show. So uh, yeah, this is the, this is what I'm also paying attention to with another eye on my other screen, but that's a story for another time. So yeah, um, if all of this uh, goes well, then I could hypothetically kill one of my Kafka brokers on stream, although that might be a tempting fate a little bit, but I've already killed one about 15 minutes ago, uh, figuring that I'd give it the duration of the stream to run. Cool, so how's everyone today? Uh, how, how are people, uh, are people looking forward to Advent of Code? I certainly am. Okay, uh, what does Twitch Inspector say? Does Twitch Inspector say that my fr that my uh, stream is more stable now? Yes, okay, stream is stable now. Woohoo! Now oh, I know I cannot trust this graphics card. Uh, so I have a uh, Radeon Pro card whose uh, onboard, onboard encoding is not up to desk. Now we know. All right, so... Um, I've got to get ignore. Cool. All right, so I will be ready to go as soon as the uh, puzzle releases, and it releases for the same time as everyone. And as I was explaining, for the stream got choppy, um, I wind up uh, trying to place roughly in the top thousand on the leaderboard. Like as as long as it's it's top thousand, um, I'm pretty happy. But my primary aim is to be. Um, has to be educational, to learn something myself, to teach you all something. Um, that's what that's my goal is, and therefore I don't necessarily um, do the hacks that the people that end up in the top hundred do uh, to try to cheese cheese the rating and get as high of a rating as possible. Um, and therefore, you'll see me write perfectly readable code. You'll see me not using too many pre-built libraries, although there is like a little library they carry around from year to year that's basically like you know hey, at the start of every puzzle, I know I want to read an input file. I know I want to use IOUtil to read the file. And I know that I'm going to want to parse it into in line by line, usually. Um, so that's what I start off with, usually. Um, and yeah, let's see. So other info that people may find interesting. Uh, if you're curious about the computer that I'm using, besides the uh, crummy graphics card that I just showed you, um, this is my current setup um, for doing work rather than gaming. So I've got a 16-core uh, ARM Cortex-A72, uh, and there's 32 gigs of RAM in here, and it's plugged into uh, two monitors and a KVM. And that's, that's, uh, that's what all of this is brought to you from. Uh, by the way, for people who are curious, um, if you are subscribing, um, what's happening with the money is I am using the money to pay to caption uh, the the video on demand. I do not make, well, I mean, yeah, I, I do not get enough income out of this yet to be able to caption this uh, live. Sorry to folks uh, who who uh, enjoy my content who are deaf, um, but... Yeah, if you if you subscribe, you're paying, you're helping me pay to have this transcribed so that by the time it goes up on YouTube uh, in the next 24 hours, it will be captioned and people can access it who are deaf. Cool. Uh, let's see. What else should we talk about while we are in the period of waiting for the puzzle? Um, other stuff that I'm doing specially slash different this year is this year I am doing Advent of Code um, with the latest Go. Um, so if I, if you look at this, I am running the latest branch build of Go, 
And the reason for that is that I want access to Go generics, which are released newly in Go 118. And therefore that means that um, I'm not going to necessarily use them every day, but if there is a good reason to do it, I now have access to Go, gen to Go generics. Um, this also helps me build some degree of confidence in it with regard to my production systems, um, because we are starting to use small amounts of Go 118 uh, in production. Yes, I know it's not beta yet, but we couldn't wait for this particular thing. Um, so therefore we are kind of, um, we are kind of waiting a sec and just uh, and and just you know trying it out in small small environments. This certainly qualifies as a kind of small environment that if if it breaks it breaks. I can always revert to uh, regular uh, regular Go one seventeen, which is also installed. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Um, cool. Does anyone uh, else have any questions for me? Awesome. I'm. Glad that you uh, went to school with people who were uh, deaf as well as with people who are hearing caster. Um, Honeycomb is braver than us. <laughs> yeah, um, certainly is. Um, I'll say it's not necessarily every day that I'll do this, but um, you know, definitely uh, terminating in instances right before you go on a stream is 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 a thing. Um, we're in the middle of um, at AWS reInvent today. Um, some new instance types were announced. And um, we are starting to migrate our production fleet over. Um, so we are about uh, a third of the way done with that migration. Uh, going into, after this is done, it'll be halfway done with that migration. Uh, cool. Let's have a look at what time it is. Four minutes. Uh, by the way, if people don't know about it, uh, the subreddit slash r slash advent of code exists. It's a pretty great place to go. Um, and I plugged my stream over here. Oh, someone replied. Yay. Thank you to the person who replied. Um, so I am, uh, I'm available on, on uh, the subreddit. Uh, the community moderators are available there. And there also are going to be other streamers that we will go raid once we finish uh, once we finish today's puzzle, uh, assuming that they are working. So we'll keep on poking around until we find someone who's current, currently live after we finish and cheer them on. It's kind of the uh, cheering train that happens uh, towards the end. Uh, am I going to use generics? Yes, if the uh, situation is right for it. Um, Full disclosure, I have not yet read any of the material about the generic syntax. Um, I'm going to be reading the documentation uh, because I think that it is uh, super important for people to demonstrate that it's OK to look for the, at the docs, no matter how senior you are. Um, and yes, uh, our environments are kibble dog food in production. And yes, all of our services are named after dogs because uh, our, our company name is, is uh, our company original name was Hound Technology. So actually, uh, I might have to back up one more directory. Yeah. So, you know, we've got a bunch of services and those services are all named after dogs. Um, Bassett, Beagle, uh, Doodle, Poodle, they all have wonderful dog names that I love. And yeah, um, if you do want to learn more about Honeycomb, we actually uh, publish a technical blog. It's honeycomb.io slash blog. I think I've published now like two out of the four of the most recent entries. Um, so feel free to check that out because we describe a lot of the stuff that we get up to. And I'm going to try not to spoil my spouse too much because she's also doing Advent of Code and she's sitting next to me. Um, but on the other hand, spoiling the first puzzle kind of doesn't really matter that much as it turns out. All right, how is this replication process doing? Oh, okay, new instance has popped into Quorum. We are reassigning partitions. Okay, so it should wake up and notice pretty soon that there is some new work to reassign. That's going to be exciting. Um, we'll see what happens when that, when that comes along. one of those weird ironic things with regard to replacing Kafka instances that if you do it during the daytime, the traffic is the highest. On the other hand, you have the most people paying attention to it. Uh, if you do it at nighttime, it tends to proceed super fast, but if it gets stuck, then you know, you're know mostly by yourself unless you uh, unless there there is uh, something, someone who happens to be awake or if it's important enough to page someone. So 
Yeah, these are the trade-offs that we work on. Uh, yeah, scaling Kafka was on top of the Orange site, um, and it stayed there like pretty much the whole day. Um, I think five thousand people saw it, which is like, oh my gosh, like this is exciting. Okay, uh, we've got a minute until the puzzles unlock, so let's get ready to do this. Uh, and by the way. Um, Yes, I do use uh, Nano as my editor. I have used Nano as my editor for 20 years, roughly. Yeah, just about 20 years. Um, and I bounced out of both Vim and Emacs because you, it's impossible to exit them, whereas uh, the way to exit Nano is visible right there on the bottom. And turns out it's a perfectly, uh, it's a perfectly competent. Uh, it's, it is a perfectly competent editor, um, especially if you aren't doing things that require like a whole lot of dealing with, you know, refactoring and needing auto completion. Like most of the time, I just get what I need out of out of uh, out of out of doing things a straightforward way. And yes, uh, after the stream, Ariel will have to definitely go through and uh, we'll definitely have to go go through and make the. Um, make the common glossary. Okay, so there is a common known URL format for this, uh, you know, 2021 slash day slash one, but I'm going to actually wait for it to turn a color and then I'll click it. There, it's turned to color. Cool. We're gonna ship it, see, uh, an elf is, uh... oh, so we need to find the key, find the keys uh, using, using the crystal lights, okay. So we do a star sweep. Um, so we find a number of depths. Um, count the number of times the depth increases from the previous measurement. How many are larger than the previous measurement? Okay, so that seems pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to put this into my input. All right, so now um, we're going to need stir conf. Okay, so this should be pretty straightforward. Um, so let me pull up the puzzle again so you all can see what I'm working on. So, um, what's the first value in here? The first value is just like 150. I'm just going to set this to negative one. It's fine all because the depth cannot be uh, negative anyways. Um, and there is no measurement before the first measurement anyways. Okay, so that's fine. Um, is equal to surconv a to i of, of s. We're just going to ignore errors, it's probably fine. And i is greater than s, so i is greater than last. Then we're going to print plus plus, and then we're just going to print the number of increments. Okay, that means increments needs to be defined. And we always end conditionally set last equals i. Okay, I think that should basically do it. Um, so that claims there are 1139 times that it's incremented. Uh, let's make sure that that's a sensible number. There are 2,000 entries, so I think that seems reasonable. Um, so let's go ahead and put that in. And that's correct. Rank 751, not bad. Hi, Sophie Bits. I imagine that you're done because you are super speedy. Um, cool. Okay, so top 1,000, I'm happy enough with that. So, but it turns out they like to change the puzzle around. Uh, oh no, this is hanging. This is no good. Um, please tell me the servers didn't crash. Do we need to send hug ops to Eric Wastel? I think we may need to send hug, up, hug ops to Eric. I'm going to tweet that to him. Okay. Um, oh, there we go. It, it's going again. Um, cool. So. Considering every measurement, there's a three, uh, okay. Um, so the first window is A, 
Oh, I see. These are vertically oriented. Okay, that took me a second to, to realize. I was like, what the fuck? Why is this like... I, I was reading things horizontally, but it's actually vertical. Okay, that's fine. So it's the uh, sliding windows, and the, the sliding window starts with the first one. Okay, so now I need... Okay, um, we'll, we'll do this again. So... Now... Zero last is negative one. Cool. All right. Um, oh, poor Ariel getting timered. Um, okay, so we're, we're going to do this again. So um, do the conversion again. And what we're going to do is we're going to do something really clever. Um, the way that you handle sliding windows in a efficient manner is instead of keeping the last, um, what we're going to do is we're going to keep a uh, we're going to keep an int slice. So what happens is as you add on to the slice, you can go ahead and remove off the end of the slice. And that will um, make it easier so that you don't have to backtrack. You can do this uh, without, without doing any backtracking, which I think is pretty fun. Part A. So in general, computer scientists tend to really hate going backwards. Um, so this is, this is what we're going to do. Um, so we need last sum. Zero. So if IDX is less than three, then we're just going to continue because we're still populating the array. Okay. So last sum plus equals I and last sum minus equals last index zero. Now we do the clever slice thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to set last equals last uh, one onwards, and then la last equals append last. Um, I think it's append. Uh, we're going to append last to i, or append i to last. So now this creates a, a queue with the sliding window. All right. So now, um, last sum. Um, actually, this needs to be sum equals last sum plus i minus last zero, and now last, okay. So now last sum is equal to sum after this. I hate the duplication, but we'll roll with it. All right, so now we go into um, into this, so if last sum is greater than sum, or sorry, if sum last sum is greater than sum, then increments plus plus. Um, that ought to do it. And then last sum equals sum. Yep, that looks good. So let's go ahead and run it. Oh, it doesn't like me. Uh, line 37. Oh, I can't redefine this variable. Uh, so that's fine. Sum is undefined, line 41. Okay, that's fine. Um, it needs to be defined. Like so, all right, so I think that yields 1103, but let's check that against the example really quickly. So, if I give it this as my simple example, let's 
let's make sure that that's correct. And that says seven, which was correct earlier. And there are five sums. Yep, so I think that's correct. So I'm just going to put this in and see what the puzzle uh, calculator says. Puzzle calculator says that's correct, um, but I did not make the top thousand, which is fine because I was explaining a neat trick uh, as we were going along. Cool, um, so that was a puzzle. It took less than 10 minutes, but the good news is it gets harder from here. I am excited for it to get harder. Um, but also I'm going to enjoy the easier puzzles while I can because it's a good opportunity to practice and learn things. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, format this and get it turned in. All right. Um, I should probably leave some comments as well to say what I did and why. Um, so. Keep a sliding window of the last three numbers seen. Uh, I'm also pretty sure there's a more efficient way of doing this. Um, am I allowed to do this? Because that definitely might make that easier. Yeah, that worked fine. Um, oh but I need to run in my full input, make sure it doesn't segfault or anything. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so that reads a lot clearer because now it's sure, uh, roll the oldest number off. Move the last number and ourselves. Okay. Um, and the other question that I have for myself is, is there a more efficient way to do this that doesn't, oh, I guess I could defer a closure that sets last sum to sum, but you know what, this is, this is fine enough. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with, with this. I, I don't, I don't feel ashamed to check this in. Okay. All right, let's check this in. And because this is a project that only I use, I just push things directly to the main branch. All right, uh, let's go ahead and find someone who is raiding and see who we can raid. Um, let's raid uh, Anthony Wright's code. That seems fun. Cool. Um, thanks for joining, folks. And I will see you tomorrow at the same time at 8.45 p.m., about 15 minutes before the start of the puzzle. Uh, and hopefully people join me in raiding Anthony.